everyone. I am Zubair Khair Labo, Chairman, Department of Pharmacy. This video by Vidya Nithaton has been produced by my direct supervision. Best of luck, Vidya Nithaton. In the last two episodes, we have discussed about penicillin. The structure of penicillin contains beta-lactam ring. This four-membered ring is the reason why penicillins show their activity. As all the siblings of penicillin contain beta-lactam ring, they are called beta-lactam antibiotics together. Now, cephalosporins are near cousins of penicillin as they have beta-lactam rings in their structure as well. We can see the structures of cephalosporin here. Notice the R1 and R2 groups. These are variable groups found in the structure. By changing R1 and R2, we pharmacologists created different cephalosporins. Here are some structures of different cephalosporins such as cephadroxyl, cefuroxime, ceftazidim, and cefepim all with different structures of R1 and R2, but similar structure in their constant group. Now the first cephalosporins were all narrow spectrum antibiotics. Hence, modified cephalosporins were synthesized. Up to this time, four generations of cephalosporins has been synthesized. There is also an advanced generation of cephalosporin available. Now the basic idea behind every generation of cephalosporin is simple. Every new generation of drug will push the boundaries of antibacterial spectrum and work against limiting factors more efficiently. Now the first generation of cephalosporins were very susceptible to beta-lactamase and the antibacterial spectrum was very narrow. Examples include cephadroxyl, cephazolin and cephalexin. Now the second generation drugs had broader antibacterial spectrum and better resistance against beta-lactamase. Examples include cefuroxime. Now the third and fourth generation of cephalosporins were even better in terms of effectiveness and beta-lactamase tackling capabilities. Now up to this point, we have been talking about penicillins and cephalosporins. Now, these drugs together are known as cell wall synthesis inhibitors. Penicillins and cephalosporins are not the only cell wall synthesis inhibitors. Some other drugs can also inhibit cell wall synthesis. Vancomycin, daptomycin, telavancin, phosphomycin, and polymyxins are some such examples. Now, they are used in special conditions according to patients' needs.